Well, hi everybody, and today we're gonna take Pittman Center Road uh, 415 all the way to Pittman Center, which is located just outside of Gatlinburg. It's a beautiful, nice little community, mountain community, that a lot of folks don't know it's there. Also, there's a beautiful drive to be had on the way there. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Well, today we're going to take Pittman Center Road on 416 South. And this will take us out to, well, Pittman Center. A beautiful cantilever barn on top of that, that hill there. I know I was calling them tobacco barns, but I believe they're also called cantilever barns too. Well there's an old city hall or, or just an old building all together. Well you could tell at one time this here was an old gas station. You can, you, well, first of all, you can see the little, where the sign used to hang. It probably would have said something like standard oil or, or what have you. And then the pumps would have been, well, right here on the end here. Richardson's Cove Baptist Church. It's a cute little. Awful white church, isn't it? It's very white. It looks like it has additions over the years. We came across this barn out here in Richardson Cove, and it looks like they're broadcasting church or something from this barn. Well, on the side of this barn here, there's actually a Tennessee quilt. Well, I guess you can find these quilts all through the South, but um, you find them mostly here in Tennessee and Kentucky, and um, I think the Carolinas, you'll find them too. They're pretty cool. They're all unique in pattern, and on the back roads, you might be lucky enough to spot one. There's an old corn crib or an old shed or something there. Can barely make it out. Well, we found ourselves on this little one lane road. We decided to take a little detour off the main road here. And there's not much room for even one vehicle, more than two. Sometimes you even think you're down, well, someone's driveway. But this is a little, little, little holler down here. Oh wow, there's actually a, a dog, a couple, a couple dogs. A couple of dogs, a Jack Russell and a big dog. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we got ourselves. Okay, right, guys. Well, there's a little cabin down on the bottom of this holler down here. Probably been there for you know, over a hundred years. Quite old. Of them. Well, that little holler there was a wild little holler, wasn't it? It uh, it was pretty crazy. 
dogs and all kinds of things going on down there. Yeah, not much of a road here. There's a, a modern day barn. Well, there's a beautiful old barn on the hillside there. Looks like it's all covered in brush and what have you. Preserve America, explore and enjoy our heritage. Welcome to Pittman Center, a Preserve America community. Oh wow, look at that cantilever barn over there. Copeland Creek. I love that that buckboard wagon. Of course there's some some cows grazing in the field out here. We'll take a look at this little beauty over here. That is really cool. Uh, it's a fixer-upper, guys. Yes, this is a fixer-upper. Fix it all up nice and pretty. What have you? It's also it's also for sale, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, wow, it's um, it's actually quite quite interesting it looks like it had an addition on the uh, left side there and then on the right here you can see the old original cabin there the old original right there that is that is pretty cool well seeing it's for sale let's go and get a get a closer look at this place here. Wow. So, yeah, this dates way back. You can tell by the timbers. You can actually own a little piece of, well, mountain history here. Oh, wow, the floorboards have been uh, pushed up. I don't know what that is. But there's some, looks like there's some racks and stuff. Of course. Well, I guess you can own your own historical building here, or home, here in the Smokies. Well, that's a beautiful barn there. It's got beautiful mountain views behind it. It 
It's uh, absolutely beautiful out here. This is Pittman Center. Check out this old barn. And check out that old Chevy pickup. <laughs> and that barn, that's a really, really cool barn. Well, for a while, we've been wanting to come see Emirates Cove Covered Bridge. And today's the day. Today's the day we're going to check this, well, this beautiful bridge out. Emirates Cove Covered Bridge, constructed in 2000. Beautiful little, well, covered bridge. Definitely worth the drive to explore this, well, newer bridge, but this flicks the, the beauty of the old times. Well, this bridge is not very old, but it's uh, it's unique. It is actually really unique. Um, I love how they use the wrought iron, like and all these little windows, really puts a character to this here. And this actually got a pedestrian walkway, which is unique. Oh wow, look at the, the river. It's raging over that ways. But, that is, it's beautiful. Well, some tips about coming here to Emirates Cove Bridge. It looks like all the property owners that surround this bridge have no trespassing, no parking signs. It's actually very hard to find parking if you want to get out and walk through the bridge. Um, so you got to keep that in mind. But yeah, there, there are signs everywhere saying no parking. They kind of need a little parking area. We're going to take this little road here down towards Pittman Center. Well, that looks like a really cool little place to sit on the river's edge at Andirondack. 
chair. I also noticed there's a little a little uh, hammock over there too. Definitely a great place to chill. Look at these cute little cabin cottages on the river's river's edge here. Those are old style cabins from back in the day. That's really cool. Hello, Mr. Rooster. What you doing this morning? <laughs> you want a piece of Donnie? Do you? <laughs> you're, well, you're pretty. You are a pretty one. Yeah. Well, top the morning to you. Well, hello, Mr. Turkey. Actually, you'd be a Mrs. Turkey. <laughs> well, have a good day, Miss Turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. I've always wanted to go into this little vintage and variety store off of 321 here. Uh, of course, it's closed right now. It looks like they got an array of, well, Americana in there. The old Coke bottles and what have you. Old stuff. Well, we're here at the Pittman Center City Hall. It looks like an old, at least an old building. Old Pittman Center. City Hall. A lot of folks don't come out here to Pittman Center. It's just outside of Gatlinburg and it's a nice nice little area here. Dawn, what did you think about Pittman Center? I really enjoyed the nice, peaceful drive. Yes, a lot of folks don't know, but that is just outside of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, about eight miles out. Uh, beautiful little community, uh, beautiful streams, a lot of little cabins out there that you can rent. Uh, if you wanna feel like you're really in the mountains, get away from that hustle and bustle that's down there in Gatlinburg. Um, beautiful farm heritage out there. Uh, you can find a lot of um, just pieces of mountain life. Um, kind of an untapped part of the Smokies. Also, you have Emirates Cove bri uh, Covered Bridge there, which is a really beautiful bridge. 
And um, we, we've been there a few times, but we have never taken you guys along. So that's a first for us. Uh, we were saving it for a time like this, and I think this is a uh, time for that. But guys, that's going to do it for today here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs give up. It a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming, well, Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone.